Hello, this is Mike Weber. Today I'm going to run through one of our popular templates from our website. First, we will download the Game Show Toolkit, item number 6999. Select the PowerPoint version, load it on your system, and then download into PowerPoint. I've got, I'm currently using PowerPoint 2013. I'm gonna go ahead and download that. Then I will go over to PowerPoint. I'm going to go ahead and open it. I've got it loaded right here on my system. And once we have it in PowerPoint, you'll notice the first slide is going to be our answers, uh, our answer panel. Here, you'll want to go ahead and change to whatever you want your answers to be that will come up later on. I'm just going to add in a few of these real quick. And then you'll notice on the second slide are the X's for the incorrect answers. Uh, you'll be able to click on a button later to have those pop up on the screen. On the third slide and going forward, you'll notice you can select how many questions and answers that you will be using. I'm going to go ahead and use the 10 panel board. And on here you're going to want to go ahead and change your, to your questions that you're going to be asking. I'll just go ahead and do the first three again. There we go. And you'll notice at the bottom there are actually slides down here that will walk you through setting up this template. I just wanted to go ahead and do a short video that may help out. Okay, now that we've got our answers and our questions entered, we're going to go ahead and open the selection pane. So I'm in, again, I'm in 2013 PowerPoint. On the Home tab, you'll notice on the right-hand side where it says Select, there's a drop-down box. There you can open the selection pane. This is going to be quite helpful. Uh, over here, you'll notice all these different areas. They're actually part of the slide. Um, what we're going to do now is what you could do, uh, like on, when you're on a Mac and you may not have the selection pane, you could click outside the area. And that the main goal is to actually get the background and the answers. We we're going to want to copy all of that. With the selection pane, you can just go ahead and click, click right here, background panels and answers. And you'll notice that it's selecting everything in that area. Now you'll want to go up to, again, on the Home tab to copy. Here we go. That'll go ahead and copy everything that we're going to want to move over. Now we're using the third slide again, the 10 panel slide. Here you can go ahead and actually paste. You'll notice here's our answers. They went over top of our question area. Now we're going to want to move that back. Uh, we don't want to see the answers. We want them to be hidden until we actually click the button. Here you can right click your mouse and send to back. There you'll notice our questions have come to the forward now. And at this point, we're going to want to go ahead and add in our incorrect X's. Now what you can do here, again on the selection pane, you're going to want to click anything that has the X involved in the text over here. So you can hold down the control and right left click your mouse and you'll see on the screen it is selecting the different areas of this slide. This makes it very helpful to get everything that you want to move over. And just like before on the home tab, you're going to want to copy and then we're going to go to our 10 panel slide and paste. Now at this point, you can go ahead. We, do, we don't need these currently. Later on, if you want to make some new templates, new uh, 
presentations you can always you know open this up again and use any of these below you'll see we have all the way down to one but again we are using the 10 panel board I'm gonna go ahead and delete out these extra slides so we just have the one we want to work with there we go at this point we can go ahead and start the slideshow we've got our questions and answers and our X strikeouts entered into our template you can use the shortcut key F5 or go ahead under the slideshow tab from beginning or current slide since it's just the one slide here are our questions the answers show up anytime there's an incorrect answer you can click on this area to strike it out and then you could always reset the board uh, again if you want to make any other panel boards we have those from the original download you can have uh, as many questions as you would like and this is our game show toolkit I hope this was helpful and thank you very much